exclusive breaking news. Yes, DC has been quietly working on a script for Hall of Justice. The sequel to the Justice League movie. It wasn't going to be called Injustice, but the cast of Injustice will be in there. <coughs> As a lead of bad guys, we'll battle the superstars of the league, uh, the Justice League. And now they will all be unified as more Justice League characters are going to be introduced. Now, from what we were told in the script, Shazam was going to be in the film, but not as a large character in the film, more of a sidekick, jokey type of person that's going to have some very good dialogue with the Flash's character in the film before he realizes, I got to go back to school. <laughs> but if you need me, that's fine. But I'm still a kid. I have to go back to school. I need, This is what I need to do. And if you need me, I'm around. But it's a very good banter they got going on in it. Now, Lex Luthor <laughs> has modified all of the villains that surround him. They don't have a list of the villains. They just say Lex Luthor and his band of injustice. So they got character one, character two, and all of these different fight scenes. There's a very good, like, huge fight scene with Batman going against Slade. <laughs> so Deathstroke and Batman actually have a very good fight scene. where Batman is like very much in the battle doing all these different things to him, but he's not able to to hurt Deathstroke. So his escape pattern away from Deathstroke was like geniusly done and set up. But it's like the, pits, the, the pieces that they're giving us are so broken up that you got to put them together. But the biggest takeaway that we have from this Hall of Justice is the fact that Batman and Wonder Woman, they have a sex scene. And it is steamy. And they're going to put this in the movie. That they're saying the sex scene is enough to make it PG-13. Between Wonder Woman and Batman. And they say Wonder Woman actually cracks the wall with her hands. She pushes, like she's gonna make love, and her hands push, make handprints in the wall. It, it gets that intense. So, <laughs> the description of this, I don't know how much of this will be on the editing room floor, <laughs> but I'll know for sure. They would love to shoot this scene. <laughs> but anyhow, with that being said, we're in a situation in which you have four to maybe five different characters all together come around and, and create something epic. Superman is supposed to be in the movie. But he's not in it a very large part, mainly because he comes in in one third of the movie because he's dealing with Lois and he's dealing with some other issues that's going on that's going to eventually lead to a Brainiac scene. From what the notes were saying, that maybe Brainiac's going to get involved and that's what's going to have Superman detained and they're going to focus on building the smaller the new characters coming into the Hall of Justice and how they're bringing them along. And while we're seeing like the big buildup of how everybody's basically recruiting. <laughs> so you seeing Lex Luthor, who's been building his team underground and under everyone knows it. 
and the fact that he's missing. Super, Superman is trying to keep his ears and eyes open, but he's unaware or doesn't know how to find Lex Luthor. So, well, I'm a little interested, especially in the love scene. <laughs> it's a screen thing, baby. That's what we do. I'm interested in the love scene. So, with that being said, we'll wrap it right here. Don't forget to click the button to subscribe. I'm out.